What happens when you don't watch where you're walking? Hello, hello, YouTube. It's uh, Sunday. I'm hoping to get this post today. It's going to be a short video this week. Um, didn't get a whole lot done because I've been busy uh, doing education for my new job which if you're in the healthcare industry you know when you first get a new job there is a ton of education to be done so that's what i've been doing all week but uh it's a beautiful day today it's uh almost 70 degrees believe it or not and uh i am currently working on getting my compost up so i've raked most of the area and uh, as you can see that was that was just this little tiny area right there in front of me so there is a ton of grass for composting and i still apparently need to come back through here and cut it again hopefully i'm gonna let it dry out a little bit before i do that but went and surveyed our property yesterday by that we i mean we we pulled up Google Maps on our phone so that we could GPS ourselves and walk to what we suspected was the uh, the boundaries of our property. Discovered we have two other springs on the property, which is beautiful. One of them is really, really nice. The other one is, um, well, it comes out of the base of a tree and creates a little quagmire, which I discovered much to my chagrin. Chagrin? That's not the right word. Chagrin. Thank you. Uh, yesterday. Um, I'll show you some pictures of the property as we went. And uh, the results would be stepping into uh, a foot and a half of mud that looked like solid ground. Ever present guard. She follows me everywhere. Stays under my feet. That's what you just heard. She was not happy about me moving my feet. Um, I had a question about the interior of the old house. I'll, uh, once I get done moving this, I'll go up to the house. I can't get in the back, and I'll show you why. And uh, I'll show you what why I can't get into the main part of the house from uh, the front. So stay tuned. I'll be back. So I'm going to take you inside the main living room of the, uh, the old house here. So... As you can see, I blocked off the openings. That's a bedroom, and back there leads into the kitchen. But you can see I, I pitched my tent in here to help you know contain heat while it was before I had the duct belt. And then we've we've got stuff in here. My saw, which I need desperately out, and uh, just other stuff. You can see I supported the floor. Pardon my fingers with uh, plywood so that I wouldn't fall through the floor. The uh, the floor in here is definitely they're they're two by twelves underneath the the main floor, which connect to the um, the base there, the the concrete base, and all those are rotting out. And uh, I'll take you around back and show you why. Now, I may not, well, I know I will not be able to get in, but uh, I can show you some of what's causing some of the problems. To start, sorry if I blind you with the sun, we've got that little, lovely thing that has fallen on the house. <laughs> and that's where they... Where they brought the water in and exited the kitchen sink. So, now that you can see it, but that right where that exit pipe is, it's caved in and fallen apart. And all the weight is on this door. And you can see in there where the roof is it's coming through. It's all sunshine in there. And the door's kicked out a little bit because I tried to 
get into it. But there's not. I don't know that you can actually see in there. Oh, there you go. That used to be like a pantry. Yeah. Too much gunk on the windows. So that is why the house is currently not livable. Roof's falling in. So we're just going to pull it down. <coughs> Salvage what we can from it. And uh, go from there. I'll be back. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that uh, you've seen that we had a campfire last night and uh, roasted some marshmallows and had some hot dogs and just sat around the fire for a little bit. And uh, my middle child is now preparing for the next time we want to do that, or they want to. It was a clear and bright September day, there was a chill in the air, and I was wondering if you still love me, or if I even care. We were standing out on the back porch, two hearts tangled in another fight, when a flock of geese flew over our heads, heading south on a lonesome flight. How do they know when it's time to fly? How do they know when to spread their wings, take to that southern sky? Is it a change in the weather or a change of the heart? How do the wild geese know when it's time to fly? Time heals everything they say, and I know this much is true. How much time will it take to heal this heart so black and blue? I know that yes, this too shall pass, and my heart again will fly. But for now, all that I can seem to do is hang my head and cry. a change in the weather or a change of the heart how do the wild geese know when it's time to part